Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about how to close an application using the terminal in Linux operating system. So, let's get started. So, first, let me open the terminal. So, before getting started on this, let me walk you through some of the prerequisites that are required to know how to close the application. So, among that, the first one is the top command. So, the top command shows all the processes that are running in the system currently with some of the things that we need to know. Among them, the first one is the PID, which is called the process ID, where this PID is unique for each and every process and it won't be same. And the next thing is it also the top command also shows about the percentage of the CPU use and percentage of the memory that is used by a particular process while running. And also it shows about from how much time the process is been running. So and this one also shows about the state of the process that is running. This S represents the state of the process that is running. So you can see that there are a multiple states like S. S is one of the state, whereas I is one of the state and R is one of the state. So what does those represents? Whereas D represents the uninterrupted sleep. So you may not find D here sometimes, but at most of the times you may find the D which represents that the process is in a sleeping process and the I represents the ideal state of the process that means the process is currently in ideal state whereas S represents the process is waiting for some other process to be executed before it starts executing whereas the R represents the process is currently running so these are all some of the information where you can get from the top command so let me exit from the stop command. For that, you need to use control C, which makes you to exit from the top command. So, now let me open an application so that I can show you how to close the application directly from the terminal. Suppose, let us open one of the Firefox windows. So, now we have opened one of the Firefox tabs. So now we want to close this tab from the terminal. So for that, now you need to search the process ID that is PID of that particular application called Firefox which we have used. So for that, you are going to use a command called ps ef where PS is nothing but the process status. That is, if a process is going on, what is the status of the process will be given by the PS command. And whereas the additions to it, E and F are used for getting a, and EF is used to get the required output. Followed by the pipe command, where the slash represents the pipe command. This pipe command is used to carry forward the output of one command as an input to the next command. So now you want to check the PID for the application or process that you are running called Firefox. So grep is one of the commands used to get specified text out of it. If you have any doubts regarding the grep command, you can see my previous videos. So there is one more command called aug, awk, which is also used in the same way as grep. So now let us use a grep command for this, where grep followed by minus i which represents case insensitive followed by the application name called Firefox. So you may see that you have got all the processes with the name called Firefox. So you have got all the process that are running with the name of Firefox. So now you need to know the PID of the Firefox to close it. You may see that the application is still running. So you need to close the application for that you need to know the process id and the process id of the firefox so to kill an application we can use pkill or just kill 
So I am using kill space hyphen 9 followed by the process ID of the application. Here the process ID of the Firefox is 3157. So let me use that 3157. Okay. So the process has been killed. You can see that the application got closed. So in this way you can kill an application just by using the process ID of the application directly from the terminal. In this way you can close as many applications as you want and all the un unnecessary applications that are running. So you can close it in this kind. Thank you for watching the video.